Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9. Welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock. Eight dollars. All right. Potato chips. Money, but our wallet is full. More money. See, I don't. I didn't remember the uh, having a. I was close. Having a. Having a wallet limit. I'm good at interrupting myself. As you can see, 5380. That's that code we used. You can find them on tapes. Here's the example. Hack. You can hack this turret to help you fight the, uh, the Rosie there. Feel free to... To use that. It can really help. Explosives do a lot of damage. Okay, we can't go over this way. Like so. Good. And then now the subtitles aren't Are showing up. Well, I'm telling you, everything just really goofed up. <laughs> Thank you, turret. Ow, not me. Here we have a bot security switch. I've not really pointed these out. High security measures enforced beyond this point. Central central station monitoring and videotaping are 24 hours a day. Bot shutdown panels are used to cancel active security alarms and shut down any security bots that have been summoned by the alarm. Using a bot shutdown panel costs $20. When you get caught by a camera, the alarm will last between half a minute to a minute. I think it's more often a minute? I don't remember too well to be honest. And security bots will come and attack you, and you know how annoying they can be. You know, these flying ones. You can immediately cancel the alarm and have all the flying bots shut down. Cost $20. Come here, pull the switch. So, something to keep in mind. Now, as you can see, that camera's really high up off the ground. We can't get to it to hack it. So, instead... I'll screw up shooting it. We could start there. No. I like to get rid of cameras because I don't want to accidentally stumble on one. This Fontaine fellow is somebody to watch. Once he was just a menace to be convicted at home. But he always manages to be where the evidence isn't. He's the most dangerous type of hoodlum. The kind with vision. And then... You... Again... Right here is a pretty good example of why you want to uncover uncover things. For example, if you wanted to try to go state or cost, oh no, you came down here, you would not be in a good situation. That's why uncovering panels is so important. Welcome to the of value. You can buy frag grenades here, uh, 3 for 45, because it's when we hacked. If you buy them, they'll go away. They're not permanent, I don't think. I'll 
buy some pistol rounds. Why not? We're at full cash. You can buy the frag grenades there if you want. The frag grenades are really good. But uh, are expensive. Camera. I think it's coming from this way. Yep. Started moving. Do this up here. Okay, we can go down. down. Is there another? Yes, there is. Now let's say there wasn't. I didn't have another down piece. We could make an elbow right here using these parts to loop around. You're going to have to start using little techniques like that later. Here, I'll show it off just to, uh, so what I'm talking about. Let's say I didn't have this down piece. So instead, we go like this. Same result, but it takes more tiles, but sometimes you have to use the tiles that you're given. And you won't have enough of these straight, these straight tiles to get where you want to go. Just make a little bend like this. When hacking uh, goes up, it gets harder. The bar's like all the way to the red. You may be stuck with just using things like that. Yay, frag grenades. Maybe stuck having to use elbow tiles like that, getting creative. Research camera looks just like one you'd see topside. According to this magazine asked by Scratched Up, it can also analyze genetic information biological structures lots of other five dollar words <laughs> fancy words okay wrench what's this now there are a lot of turrets and bad things here there for example like right here for example And we're going to try to take as many of them as possible. Not that we need to, but... Okay, we can go this way. But, why not? I don't have another way to... Okay change of plans then. There we go. Said sometimes you have to use the tiles at your disposal. There's that. Ow. Quit shooting me. Yes! Rocket turret. Kill it! Oh, that's not good for that splicer. I think the turret got him. <laughs> oh boy. Like I said, a lot of turrets. What did you hack? Die then. Nothing, nothing. Hack. Guess it just didn't catch the button. Oh well. The button press. 
Fine. Okay. Pretty clear. And there we go. Not too hard. Okay. Easy enough. Machine gun? Well, I can't carry any more machine gun rounds. Can't carry any more frag grenades. You can only have 12 frag grenades. You think you can get away with it? Hanging now, is it? That's what we've come to now. Look, I don't make the laws here. I just enforce them. But I didn't come to rapture the string men up to run and contraband. If Ryan and his crew have their law, then they can have my badge. Uh, let's hack this. Okay. And go across down here. And then up. Up, up, up. Cross, make sure it's connected. Three anti personnel pistol rounds, two heat seeking RPGs, and $23. Well, 14, because we can't carry it all. <laughs> heat seeking RPGs are just what they sound like. They are for the grenade launcher, rocket propelled grenade, and will seek out targets. We'll seek out heat anyway. Very useful, very powerful. And I don't know what you killed, but something died. Pet bar. $43, eight double op buck and six pistol rounds. A lot of money, but again, we're full on money. Check everywhere. Oh, full on a uh, team hypo. The game likes to hide little things like this. You know where it's where you can't see it from here because it's a small item. The game likes to do that. Sure. Can't go that way. Okay. Sometimes you get a bad draw like this, and you just have to make the most of it. it. You could switch out this first tile if you're really fast, but typically you don't think about that because you're uncovering tiles. So we're going to have to do, we're going to have to go around here, and then up. Sometimes you get caught in a really bad situation. And you'll have no choice but to uh, soak the soak the damage. You'll fail the hack just because you got a really bad draw. And that actually happened with the screwed up recording. And I'll put that at the end of the episode so you can see how I just had no chance. It happens in this game. Don't be discouraged. If you if you feel like your hacking skills really are up to par try again because you'll get a different a different setup Let's see we go this way Bonk. good pistol rounds I'm full on machine gun full on buckshot gene swap More machine gun rounds. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. 
Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. First aid kit, yay. And the camera. Take pictures of enemies with the camera to research them. Each type of enemy has a unique set of research bonuses. Try taking a picture of the splicer on the other side of the window. Keep the subject centered and nearby. Good. You got the camera. Now get me some snap snaps on those spider splicers. And don't come back down here till you got my research. Okay. You can zoom in with the camera. And you'll just want to keep keep the splicer centered. Have him kind of looking in the camera like so. A B. Meh. There's A, B, and C. When you first snap the uh, photo, you'll more than likely get your first research level. Spider Splicer Research Bonus. Increased damage plus. So now we do more damage to Spider Splicers. Spider Splicers are vulnerable to anti-personnel rounds. The game will also tell you what they're weak against, like a special type of round or element. Wait, why do you always... We're going to go ahead and take another picture. Penalty. Subject already photographed. Do this. I think it's better if we can get the whole body. Yeah, you see, we got more bar that time. But if you photograph the same one over and over, you actually... Uh, you actually lose, you don't get as much. Subject in view, no photo taken. Now, if you look, we actually have ammo for the camera. It's film. It acts as ammo for the, for the camera. I'll end up be, I'll end up buying a lot of film. You don't have to do this. You don't have to take pictures of things. You don't have to do the research. But I highly recommend it. It's extremely useful. You get the damage bonus. You get some other things later. You don't waste the film, again, if you photograph nothing. I recommend doing it. Anti-personnel ammo. Uh, use anti-personnel pistol ammo against unarmored targets. So we're going to take a uh, picture of this person. I mean, though he's on fire. Yeah, I got an A. Can't really see anything, but whatever. Leadhead Splicer Research Bonus. Increased damage plus to Leadhead Splicers. They're the ones with the uh, pistol. Leadhead Splicers are vulnerable to anti-personnel rounds. Now you know. You photograph it again. You can, you can photograph again, but you, do, you get less research. What I typically like to do is I like to... Uh, take a shot of one, then I'll kill it and move on to the next one. That's typically what I do. I typically don't just sit there and do the same one over and over again. Um, you can. You'll need a lot of... You'll need a lot of film for that. You can buy film lonely. from uh, some I'm machines. Lonely. You just have to be on the lookout for it. Ah, uh, yes. Neoplasmid, security bullseye. Are those pesky security cameras getting you down? Simply tag your enemy with our photoelectric insects, and those cameras and turrets become your best friend. Splice, security bullseye today. Creatures hit by this will be attacked by cameras and turrets. I'm going to temporarily take off Hypnotize Big Daddy to show this. Security boss and turrets on your enemies. Evolve today. So, let's test this out. Now the camera thinks it's an enemy. The bot kills it. Move on. Now, the bad thing about this, though, the camera still doesn't work for you. You just tagged that one enemy, and that one enemy was a uh, was an enemy to the camera. The camera's still not yours. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Security Bullseye, even though, as you can see, EVE cost-wise, it's cheap. Uh, I much rather prefer to just hack it if I can, and then it's always mine. 
The other thing you can do is is use it due to its low cost. That's up to you. You just have to be aware of its limitations. I don't like it, but that's not necessarily saying you won't like it. Can't carry any more buckshot. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna go down here. E Pipo. This way, the, sec the security camera is always ours until, well, it blows up. <laughs> but I prefer that much more. Now, if I can't reach the security camera, then I typically just blow it up because I don't want to have to deal with it later in case I come back to this area. And then it's like, all of a sudden, hey, why am I getting attacked by bots? Because I didn't deal with that security camera. I either hack them or destroy them. That's my route, anyway. This little sea slug has come along and glued together all the crazy ideas I've had since the war. It doesn't just heal damaged cells, it resurrects them. I can bend the double helix. Black can be reborn white, tall, short, weak, strong. Slugs alone are not enough. I'll need money. And one other thing. So that's the power of Adam. Alright, let's hack. No, don't mean to do that. up so good Phew. exactly electric buckshot were full on money anyway uh, six for 36 since it was a special ammo it's gone when you buy it sometimes that happens from these ammo machines or any machine for that matter. Uh, 40 for... Fit, that's really tempting. I'll probably come back and buy that. Alright. Atlas? <laughs> Atlas, you were gonna talk! Oh, that shouldn't have happened. That was weird. Uh, Atlas just says that you'll want to uh, use the camera, get the spider splicers, and then get out. Really, that's like all he says. <laughs> okay, can't go that way. Or that way. Great, well... We're gonna need to turn this around then, quickly. This is why you uncover the uncover the panels. Up. We'll go this way. Now again, don't panic if a way gets walled off like this. This is a really great example of why you want to uncover things as quickly as possible. Uncover the tiles. Don't panic. If you started working this way, 
and then you started to see this, you could always loop up and then around. Like I said, sometimes you're put into a no-win situation, and then you just have to soak whatever the whatever the bad effect you're crashing into is. But, you know, you have a chance to to fix it. You have a chance to try to loop around to to try to find a workaround. And there's a bot shutdown switch right here, just in case. You hit, you hit an alarm. Or you hit this thing. That is blocked off. Okay. Again. Quick work around. Need another way to go down. All right. Make sure it's connected. There we go. Picture. See, man, it wasn't that good of a picture. Ah! Was it centered, but I'll take it. Yes, the uh, subject was already photographed. If you look at the, if you look at the top penalty, subject already photographed. But bonus, multiple subjects. If you have more than one in the picture, I'm gonna go ahead and take one more, because that'll fill up the bar. If you have more than one subject in the picture, you get a bonus. New Physical Tonic, Scrounger. Splicy Scrounger is like having a sixth sense. You'll spot things you'd otherwise miss and discover things you'd otherwise leave behind. With Scrounger, you'll swear you have x-ray vision. When searching containers or corpses, you can search again to find different loot. Now this could be really useful if you don't hurry through the corpses like I have been. Because you have to choose, do I want this stuff or do I want to re-roll and see how lucky I am? Because you could end up re-rolling $5 and getting $8, getting a med kit, or getting nothing. So, it is a gamble. I'm going to leave it off just because if I put it on, I'll end up spending a lot more time searching stuff than I already am. That'll slow down the uh, slow down the open. But by all means, please, camera, why don't you spot this? But feel free to use it yourself. See, right there would have been useful because <laughs> I didn't get anything. Oh, coffee. Sure. Pistol rounds. Pet bar. go. Fighting McDonough's. Jet Postal. Now, are you ever bringing old Peach them stoppies, or are you just sightseeing? <laughs> well, if I find them, Peach, I would like to. So, sometimes... As a reward for doing the research, sometimes you get new tonics. Hey, yay! Now you can go away. You're so close. Go away. Now I end up taking a lot of damage while I'm researching because, well, I end up doing this. Taking bullets just to try to get a good picture. 
You're low on film. Buy more film at a vending station. So there you go. The game tells you. Thank you. The death penalty and rapture. Consoles in an uproar. Rides in the streets, they say. But this is the time for leadership. Action must be taken against the smugglers. Any contact with the surface exposes rapture to the very parasites we fled from. If you stretch necks or a small price to pay for our ordeals. Okay. Before we end this episode, hack this uh, vending machine. Okay. Up. Across. Like so. Film. 15 for 12. You can carry up to a hundred film. Film for the research camera. Each unit of film is good for a single research photograph, which we've seen. Proximity mines. 3 for 57. You can only carry 6. That's the downside of the proximity mines. Sadly, but you've seen how useful they can be. That's really tempting. Um, so it's the electric buckshot. I love the electric buckshot. Because not only can you do damage to a big daddy with it, you can do damage and stun a big daddy with it. Very useful. Uh, of course, I'm buying film. Quite a bit of film. I love the whole research thing. And you see you get tonics from it. You get damage bonus from it. It's very worth using. Uh, I'll buy the electric, I'll buy one set of electric buck, I'll buy one set of proximity mines. That'll work. And we still have almost $300 to buy stuff. To buy stuff for you. Blackhead Spicer. Okay. Good. Well, I'm gonna end the episode here. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you had a lot of fun. The research has a lot of benefits as you've seen. What do you think? Would you spend a lot of time with the research camera or not really? Because it can be a little time consuming. As you see, you can take some damage from it. Especially <laughs> if you just stand there and take bullets while you're trying to capture a, uh, capture a picture. Whatever the case, I think it has a lot of benefits and it's really worth doing. But... Let me know what you think. I'd be interested if somebody takes the other side, doesn't like to do it, why you chose why you chose not to do so. Do you think the rewards weren't worth it? Uh, did you did you not know there were actual rewards like tonics that may throw you off? Uh, let me know. I'm curious. Regardless, I'm Cinder A9. Till the next episode. Remember to shoot for the stars and. Take care, everyone.